notice on the unconfirmed kill that the number is in red. What that means is, if I make the defensive die roll, it's, it's off. Everything's cool. If I'm under 14, then he takes a second hit. So that would be the only way that he will take casualties on one hit. That red to kill number. So if I roll a 13 or lower, he's going to actually become a confirmed kill. The first guy would be gone. The second guy would keep that unconfirmed kill. And now that squad is the same deal. If I roll under 13, he's dead and gone. And the hit marker goes back into the cup. Um, the bottom, you'll see on the bottom of these hits, counters, some have an F, some have an M, some have an F and M. Um, F means you cannot fire, M means you cannot move, and both of them are, you know, the same. You can't fire or move. And it works exactly the same thing down here at the bottom with the tank hit counters. But you'll notice the tank hit counters, that immobilized, is really brutal. It's a red 18. So that's not good. The unconfirmed kill is less than that. So sometimes when you get a immobilized tank, it's better not to try to save him. Just keep shooting at him where he sits until he dies. Any questions on the hit counters? Okay, I tell you what, um, Bryce and I are going to take a couple shots at each other to show you how this works. And we're going to start with Bryce as the Russian. Um, I moved him over here to P21. And he'll go ahead and take a shot at me uh, in Q23. Go ahead, Bryce.